Here we are. Here is the man responsible <laughs> for <on>. this. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. And look what else also happened as a result yeah. of your rescue, Neil. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. This is. You guys wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this guy. Yeah. yeah. You better fly. <laughs> you better start tithing <laughs> Neil all yeah. of your future <laughs> wages. <laughs> you gotta tell them I shall I. Meet your father. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, by proxy, by proxy. <laughs> by proxy. Yeah. I always wondered why Eli's middle name was Neil. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like um, the candlestick is the totem pole, but that one's the totem pole. Yeah, that's very high. That's still. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty yeah. surreal, isn't it? Really, to be here a quarter of a century later. Quarter of a century. Thinking, thinking yeah. back on it and seeing. Yeah. yeah, we can't say you haven't no. lived life. <laughs> no. You have, in entirety, by a long way. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> Fantastic, mate. <laughs> thanks. It's great to be part. Yeah. Wow. It's pretty much as clear today as it was on the day really. Oh. I pretty much remember every little detail of the whole scenario. Oh. You know, and um, I guess you do recall those and well say relive but you do remember how all that went and you know, how different yeah. things could have been. So every you know, every time I see you or hear from you it's kinda of like a little reminder. Yeah. You know, what difference know. you can yeah, make yeah, yeah. sometimes in your life yeah. you make quite a difference to someone. And yeah. this is just one of those pretty significant times. <laughs> the criticality right. of the whole situation. So right. nice, I didn't realise no, that. No intent to rescue at all. I mean, I had, all I had on me physically was a helicopter harness. Yeah. That was it. I had no other gear whatsoever. I had no None. idea. So the only gear was your own gear. Yeah. <laughs> um, ropes. Material intervals, you know, some anchors, uh, yeah, and oh. uh, really, oh. so, you know, I guess there just had to be decisions made, yeah. really, on the day, and I don't think we had the time to wait for a full team, we just didn't no, at no. the time, and, no. you know, the day was almost like this, really, with minimal swell. Yeah, uh, but, it, but, it, but it was still a considerable swell when well, you when you got down, well, down when we got down to water level, wasn't well, it? We looked down there and it looked like all wet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's a bit more than you you think from you know 150 meters up. Yeah, yeah, um, and that's kind of how it was. But you know, mm. for us on the day, it just seemed pretty logical to head to the water. Yeah. And yeah. a boat, really, I guess. <laughs> and did the boat? Did the boat really? It was the new Bina. Like, yeah, like where, where, the, where the, the hell did of, that tinny come from? Yeah, I think it was. It was with the state emergency service, the yeah. SES, and they came around just to have a look and see if they could do anything. Like the, again, there was still no thought of them being involved in a rescue. I think they were quite funny, not certainly not expecting to see us come yeah. sliding down towards the water towards them. That was, <laughs> I don't think that was what they were no. volunteering for that day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, yeah. And, uh, mm. well, it's just that whole series of circumstances on the day. Good weather. Yeah. You know, fortunate enough that I knew ro how to handle ropes and gear and set up anchors and mm. sort things out. There's a whole, so many things that were on our side, on your side that and, day. And now, would it be possible now, you think, to rescue, to winch a, a, a body off the it, ledge? I think it probably would with the yeah, current helicopter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the helicopter yeah. then was way smaller, cable way shorter. Yeah. I just, well, we did. We went down to the top of the pole with the helicopter, 
but it was just too unstable with the, the reverberation off the walls yeah. from the candlestick and the main wall of the mainland side. Yeah. And um, the cable was too short to really be able to winch down. Yeah. In, from a, from above the totem pole. Yeah. So that was just a no, no option on that day. Yeah. Because if you were, if you were having to hover the hover the helicopter. A, like uh, above above the level of of the mainland, that's uh, that's um, 120 meters above oh, the water, yeah, no, isn't that, it? So. Yeah, that, that's a long mm. way. But, but with a bigger machine these days, it yeah. would all be possible. Yeah, Absolutely. it would be much more power, mm. um, much longer cable. So it is possible. Mm. I'm not saying it would be easy because it still wouldn't be easy to get down to someone down there and put them into a stretcher for a winching out type situation. No. Obviously, we didn't have a stretcher that day. We didn't have much at all. Had a few of your slings, which we sort of managed to tie together <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then tie you to me, <laughs> which yeah. was um, then strap you across my lap. Yeah. Must have been, I must have been fairly strong at the time and just picked you up and threw you <laughs> yeah, across my no, lap yeah, and yeah. abseil off with you. It's all fairly straightforward, really, when you think about it. Yeah. Until it gets down to the water level and trying to get in. You start to think a bit more seriously about life then. <laughs> So the way that I tell it was that was that you cut the rope. But did you? you did I you? I didn't actually cut it. But the boat came in once, and we couldn't land in the boat. No. We came in a second time, and we couldn't land. This was just washing in and out with the swell. Yeah. And the third time, they came in, and I caught hold of the boat with my legs. Yeah. And I held onto that boat. <laughs> Just make sure we, yeah. we, we were going to make it on the third time because I'm not sure that we would have. I don't know. I just don't like to think about yeah. that too much. I mean, we may well have ended in the water if that didn't work. But anyway, we got yeah. above the boat and we just said to the guys on the boat, "Cut that wow. rope." Cut that so rope. it was cut. Oh, yeah. it was definitely cut. Oh, we dropped yeah. into the yeah. boat the last little bit. Yeah, yeah we did actually drop yeah. in. It was like, yeah. It was just too. Yeah. You couldn't keep. They couldn't keep it stable enough to. No, it would have been a bit yeah. dangerous, wouldn't it? Once you got you, you got the oh. rope coming down from the ledge yeah. attached oh. to the boat. I'll put it this way: I wasn't really relying on your swimming skills on the day to get us out of trouble <laughs> if we went for a dip. <laughs> I gotta, gotta think. Oh, I did surf life saving as a kid, yeah. but I'm not sure, really sure that I can, with you tied to me, that I can kind of hold us both together. Yeah. So the boat was the best option for sure. Wow. <laughs> And, yeah, uh, had a bit of a joy ride around to Fortescue Bay. And was it but the same helicopter? Same helicopter, that, yeah. Same that was waiting at the yeah, beach, yeah. Same helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And even at that time, they weren't really supposed to fly overnight. And it was, it was sort of a beautiful night, and there was enough light. Yeah. You could see the city lights, and once you're in the air, and so you could fly on visual yeah. if you like. But technically, they weren't really supposed to be flying overnight. Yeah. But you know. We weren't. It was going to be way, way better. Yeah. You know, it's only 10 or 15 minutes to fly back to Cambridge, rather than an hour and a yeah. half or whatever by road. So wow, well, there's all these. There's just all these things came together. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's all these things that, like you're filling in the pieces that even now, 25 years later, that I didn't even, that I didn't really realise. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is good, really. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know. Like I say, for me, it's in many ways still as clear as that, as that day, really, you know, from going down in there initially with the helicopter to thinking, well, this ain't going yeah. to work, we'll have to wait for the rescue team. Paul Steen and I, on that helicopter, we got, were flying back to that saddle, maybe mm. a K before, back from the, the Cape here, and just walked out, really, as I said, with yeah. no intentions, but apart from having a look. Yeah. And it was only when I saw that Tyrolean in place that I thought, mm, well, you know, I guess it's an option. I'm pretty comfortable around cliffs, ropes. I'm happy enough to clip into that. And yeah. Yeah. I certainly have lived on with my life and got on to other, you know, mm. continuing my work and climbing and family raising yeah. and all that sort of stuff. But. You know, we know that for you and for anyone in, that's been injured the way you were, it's such a such a long road back. And there is no, you know, for the people who make it back just have that mindset a lot of the time. Like, 
they're not going to let you know a bit of an injury or two hold mm. them back from life and clearly for you that has been the case you were off that elite level they just have a mindset that will overcome pretty much anything and without that you kind of can it's so easy to let go and just live a life of mm. well probably not not to the fullest at least yeah so well we all feel like standing bad occasionally though don't we yeah, I do anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Like today. <laughs> no. That moment when my alarm goes yeah. off. Oh, jeez, really? <laughs> 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. Oh. Get out your car. Oh. <laughs> 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 right, no stops on the way out. Yeah. Keep moving. <laughs> It's not supposed to be fun, you know. Smiling and laughing. Well, while you turn up to the water cup in this one. Paul? Yeah, 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 and I think I didn't know about it until Michelle came in. Say the names when we go first. Eli. And she told me. Adam. Like, oh, Neil. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> Elka. Pippa. Josh. Turn around. Oh. Duncan. What? Caddy. Melinda. I rocked up in my boots. Michelle. He's wet. What are they doing? <laughs>